Welcome, welcome back to the No Rep Podcast. I'm your main host, gonna keep saying that, Jordan. I'm with Evan and Danny, and today's episode is gonna be a little bit of a QA, right? So I've got my phone, I'm gonna whip up some answers. So we're just yes. gonna get straight into this, straight into this, right? No, Let's go. Dive. no fuck about. Let's go. Dive deep. Um, so, question number one, it started off quite aggressive. <laughs> uh, it started off aggressive. <laughs> Yous aren't perfect. That's how it started off. As trainers, what do you struggle with the most? I think that's probably referring to like training or something like that. I so think I, all of our I, answers are going to be different, but kick us off. Our own training? Yeah. What do we struggle as as trainers, you know, we are not perfect. So what do mm -hmm. we struggle what do we struggle with from a training standpoint? So it's probably for me, it's changed throughout my kind of my PT career. So previously I was a very, very much kind of in person trainer. I was forty hours a week, fifty hours a week actually helping people so do you think after doing a 40 hour week 50 hour week i would actually want to train myself mm. i'm in the gym all day all day why do you want to stay in that same all day. gym and train yeah, again? <laughs> stay, so, and the thing is as well you can go you can go to another gym you can go somewhere else you can't do do whatever right but that it, it, it burns you out doesn't it yeah i get i, I totally get that and understand that because I found that and I found that quite early on. So when I found that when I was just PTing all the time and I still do it now, I'll, I will just drive drive to the other gym. Um, but if you're to dive a wee bit deeper into that, like that was when you were say busy with PT and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Now you've maybe reverted online as um, struggles that you've got just now that you would maybe say from a training standpoint that, that affect you even like today. From a training standpoint? Yeah. Um, having too much time. Mm. <laughs> all right, okay. No, Interesting. No, it's my training's regular enough for me to do, kind of do what, what i need to do um it's what my struggles just now are probably less training related and more business related right because for me when i was a kind of busy one-to-one -one pt and whatever i was just training people and that's all i did right i didn't didn't market i didn't like have to think about content i didn't have to do any of that stuff so I had different, I had different problems. Right, I was yeah. literally just that guy in pure gym that was busy because folk liked him, mm -hmm. kind of thing. I was People like, liked you. I think it so. Very, <laughs> very <laughs> <hard to> believe, <laughs> like, I mean, like, I was one, yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, I one of the one of the busier PTs in there, just be, out of personality. Probably, yeah, I'm yeah. good at my job too. I swear. Good and, that um, job. But now I have different problems. I've got problems with it. I need to spend enough time marketing and thinking about social and thinking about posts and thinking about algorithms. Mm. See, three years ago. Did we ever mention the word algorithm? Didn't know what it was. Like, why would we be talking about that? Thought it was a maths thing. Uh huh. <laughs> maths shit. <laughs> <laughs> what about what about you? What are some struggles that you've got with your training now, <laughs> or even in the past? I'll go. I'll go current and I'll go past. So currently, it would be as a coach how I wear your a technique, okay. how I wear your. I don't, me anyway. I feel like I try to be too perfect sometimes. Right. I've been. I've been very, very bad for that. Mm. Too perfect. Was that perfect? It's the opposite of done or something. Do you know what I mean? And that's it's made up. Probably that help. I just make it up. Uh, uh, Cut that. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, and it's probably helped me back strength wise a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Type of too perfect. One hundred percent. That's the biggest thing for me. Yeah, yeah. Um, just now, can I struggle with my intensity? I think. Okay. Like I feel like my intensity is nowhere where near where it needs to be like I, I know physically i'm capable of more but i'm just not doing it i'm just not doing it i don't well, know how's what your, it is what is your training environment jid right. jid gym you train alone yeah do you follow your own program or someone else's my own your own but but this is the thing as well i have i usually pro uh, for the most part over the last few years i have programmed for myself and i've stuck with it my training's changed quite a bit and i am kind of training for enjoyment now, now. Mm -hmm if that makes sense mm -hmm. but i also want to train harder and and i think it is just environment i, I think, think the, the perfect the perfect fix for that is because i've i've went through that and i went from you know training most of my training for the majority of the time that i have been active in the gym has been kind of either sports related or performance related like i wanted to train to get bigger or faster or stronger for rugby and then it kind of moved to more of the kind of crossfit side of things and what i found is that you know when i started doing crossfit classes and you're you're in an environment with other people doing the same workout as you you got wee janice she's wee in the corner janice. And, she, and she's you know janice rattling, is everywhere and she's, rattling through, she's rattling through this workout and you're like bloody hell you know this 40 something 
back is is fitter or stronger or whatever in some way capacity so you got a bit of competition so you're Aye. able to push yourself more you're right, rather man. than being yeah. somewhere yourself so yeah. i was in that environment um in classes all the time i then thought well i want more so what i would do is then maybe start doing certain training programs but i would do it in open gym times where i was kind of training myself mm -hmm. and when what i found personally is that i'm not able to push myself as hard in the gym if i'm training myself for the most part there's certain times when i absolutely can when i've got a clear goal or something in my mind or something to chase but the biggest thing that's helped me is training with others that hold me accountable i've got two two of my clients i want these are real people shout out andy and james i train with my two clients right and I should be paying them money because <laughs> since I hope that in fact I hope they don't listen to that. Uh, because since I've started kind of training with them, we're all doing the same sort of thing because we have the same sort of goals. My training has shifted dramatically because they I used to kind of be better at them, uh, better than them at the <laughs> thing that we're doing. <laughs> and then it's became, good, I'm good. I know, I fuck that <laughs> up. I used to be better than them at the thing, and now they're becoming better than me at the thing mm -hmm. and it's kind of scary and yeah. i'm like whoa i'm like nah not on my watch it's not happening so it means we, you're a good coach we push each other like beyond belief and it's been amazing for my training yeah. so i think from a training standpoint i used to struggle with you know i would go into the gym i never had a problem really going into the gym it's just yeah, when i was same. in the gym am i doing the right thing yeah. or am i working hard enough and being around other people or being in the right environment that helped me massively. well that, i think so just now i don't follow a plan Mm. I do not. Do so I, actually, I'm <laughs> thinking about strength. gain line. By the way, like right, if you want one, hey, gain line strength. Right, and okay, Sh you know, shameless plug. Hey, <laughs> this this is when it comes down to um, progressive overload. This is why I think it's so important because even if you won the up for being, even if you like, for example, just now, I'm I'm not following any rhyme or rhythm of a training plan. I would never have my clients do that. Every one of them are on a solid plan, right? So why do you do something that your clients? Because it's almost like I'm just putting the time into them. And I'm just letting myself just wing it the now. Right. Not ideal because what's happening is I'm not, there's no progressive overload at all, right? And I, what I've found in the past, myself and my clients would absolutely agree with us, is when you are for going, for, for going Good when right. you are for going a progressive overload, you have no option but to train more intensely that next session. Yeah. Because you are looking to increase either reps or weight, right? Aye. So you are inevitably going to increase intensity, even if you weren't up for it. But I need because I'm right now just kind of doing different exercises here and different exercises there. I know kind of there's like a rhyme or rhythm to an extent, but the reps change here and I'm doing that with that and that then instead of that starting first, it's second. So there's no solid plan in place, which is just I'm not getting any obviously but, the benefit from it. See what I've found just from being in the in the industry and stuff is coaches not every coach is obviously some people like the gyms are life and they're just chicken and broccoli like as soon as they get up in the morning but coaches tend to struggle or often struggle with actually training themselves mm -hmm. so coaches do you say a coach needs a coach a coach does need a coach okay my professional opinion yeah i actually it's weird like over time i've now got like a little bit of a pool of coaches who i coach mm -hmm. and it's weird how i don't know how it kind of happened like i maybe gained one and then it's just kind of spiraled into having like a nice wee handful of you know pts who were doing the exact same thing some of us are serving similar sort of clients were somewhat in competition the same way that mm -hmm. we kind of are in a way a little bit but when you surround yourself with other types of people who are you know your people your your mm -hmm. type of kind of demographic or and um, people are similar to you in a way it's it's good to be in that environment because it doesn't feel lonely or it doesn't feel like um you're just kind of you've not get you're not being held accountable i guess is what i'm trying to say mm -hmm. and even the best in the world like they have mentors the yeah, best in the world totally. have mentors the best in the world have coaches you know the best people in their sport or in their field have people to help them you know what I mean? So we are naive to think that we don't need that because mm -hmm. we're a coach. Like totally. at the end of the day, we sell a service. Why would we sell a service that is not even good enough for us? No, you no. Know what I mean, and that's what I think about in my business is that, you know, would I want to be coached by me? Like the mm -hmm. stuff I'm putting out there, the things that I'm talking about in my Facebook group or my open offices or monthly trainings would I want to listen to that and consume that? Oh. You know, and, and most of the time the answer is yes. Do you know what else I also th think brain brain didn't work there? My my brain <laughs> and, uh, is it's what is up with us? Yeah, no, 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 caffeine. No, I, I was going to say caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
<laughs> it's hard to motivate yourself or for that want or whatever if you're not all the time but see if you're already in great nick mm-hmm. or you've already had like a massive transformation see if you look at your transformation from when you were a skinny wee guy to now don't wait, say fuck wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you said <laughs> listen I'm still a skinny wee guy right I'm Joke. just right. no as skinny no. as a wee no, guy no but do you know what I mean like, see, since like you, you showed me a picture the other day like your shape's changed massively I used to do something on your Instagram actually your, when, since, you, since you were younger and all that do you have plugs actually so you've, was that that you had plugs and you were on fake holiday fake plugs was it fake, fake plugs fake plugs plug. oh, bro. Bag. 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 I'm kind of glad I did they though I know 100% Beautiful but years, do you know bro. what I mean so you're already so you're already in this period of do you know my body's actually pretty dynamite do you know what I mean it's not as if Cheers, you, you don't have this one oh my god I, I really need to lose but, weight or well, if my, you've got a show coming up I really need to get massive my thing now is it, like advanced exercises, so I can't do a ring muscle up, can't do a handstand or a handstand push up. You need a program. My you. overhead movements are I know shite. Again. So okay, I'm like, this boy, <laughs> this boy could help with that. I could. I did, but this is where I'm at now. That's like my big driving force is I always want mm-hmm. to do better. I, that's how yes. I have no issues training. So, your, go, so your goals just always now. Always to do better. It's not really physically, it's more kind of skill acquisition. Always. Like, I mean? think. No, not always, but yes. Yeah. I think always for the most the part, part the when people, because at, at the start when I kind of started my online kind of training, uh. you know, transformations is what's hot. It's, it's always going to be mm-hmm. hot. People going from, you know, this is where you used to be, this is where you're at now. Like that's the thing that sells what i'm a fan of in my own training and what i send to my guys a transformation just comes off the back of it sometimes because mm-hmm. of doing the things but seeking performance like seeking better performance from where you used to be like that for me is for me personally is a little bit more fulfilling and then what i found for other people mm-hmm. is also more fulfilling because yeah. how you look in the mirror is subjective 100%. and i think mark strathairn said this before shout out mark shout out mark is that the how you look is the most or is the least interesting thing about you like how you look in the mirror is the, the, the least interesting thing about you what is more interesting is the person that you are and the things that you can do mm-hmm. if you have went from the couch to 5k or the couch to a marathon or from sh- you know shoulder injuries all your life to being able to do a ring muscle up like that's cool yeah. that's fulfilling Agreed. like just looking really lean for a short period of time is so short-lived and totally it's in my eyes it's not really worth it no and i think when you do seek performance for performance and you do have those you train with that in mind they often come as a vibe i agree that i I don't like i completely agree Mm. that i'm all about helping people feel look and feel good Mm. do you know what i mean yeah and there's people think oh that's just a given no no there is people that are out there that just want to look good they don't want to be mm-hmm. fitter at all and i hear it it's like, countless what's times. Next? and i'm like but that, what's that's next? so look like superficial see other people like uh, it's not my thing but see kind of look, look how miserable kind of people that are on stage in a bodybuilding show are. yeah obviously the kind of gratification and the happiness from all the work and stuff to put in is amazing but physically feel drained they feel horrible just to look great for three minutes in the mm-hmm. stage or whatever yeah. it is yeah i don't I actually don't know how long they're on stage for i've never, I, I've it's never not done a thing it. i know but that is the thing is it like some people might see that and think they want it and then mm-hmm. they'll go through it and uh-huh. then it and it and it they're like that never again mm-hmm. I, i've had a client yeah. who you know she dieted all the way down for a photo shoot for a business she's one of the coaches and after it she's like oh, i fucking hated that mm-hmm. it was horrible it was it was it was the worst thing ever and now she's had a complete shift and it's now complete performance focused and she has more fulfillment in her training she has more enjoyment yep. she's not she's not starving do you know, what I, do you know yeah. what I think bodybuilding is for a lot of people mm. it's hash hash it's, it's it's their gateway drug into fitness okay do you know what i mean so see like, like people see <laughs> That's a whole other episode. That's a there, whole going other episode. Like, is, it's is, green. Is, is cannabis the, the, the ga- a gateway it, drug? But do you know what I mean? Because people you know see, how, see for, the, for like two, two or three years there, all over Instagram, it's all just kind of bodybuilding chicks, gym shark, and that's, that gets people in, that gets people mm-hmm. in the door. Mm-hmm. And then when they're actually in the door, they're like, I'm going to do something else. I'm actually going to be strong. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. Mine was 100% you know I mean look look. Hmm? Oh yeah, Wait, I, I, all started, of us started, started bodybuilding. Yeah, look. all of us started there. I used to it watch all the like back Rocky, in like 2012. Predator. Not even that. It was like the YouTubers it's back in like, 2012. Drug. It was like, you know, like, then you just like watch Matt August or oh, who's my uh, God. Legend. Matt August is still kicking my butt. He's still kicking my butt. Zeus, 
Zeus. No, Zeus. 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 Zeus.
Right, but next question. <laughs> it's maybe a quick fire one. Aye. I quite like that though. Um, well, this one's not a question. This was someone that slid into my question box and said, shout out to Danny and Evan for helping me out with my form back in the Pure Gym days. There you go. Um, come to me if you actually want your form fixed. Um, <laughs> Lol. <laughs> You've seen your change. Uh, next question is, we know training is important, but how important or what is what does the role that vitamins and supplements play? Well, answer this one. How important are they? I think they're like the last little bit of like the hierarchy of things that are important. I, I, I think they're like they Tell, should be. I think no, no, I think they're absolutely for optimal health. I think you do need supplements. I'm okay. I'm all for that. Like mm. three things that I focus on. Um, with anyone that comes to me, their nutrition is quite erratic. Um, they don't feel like the health where it should be. They do have some things going on like 100% part of the strategy that I'll put in place. Supplements are in there. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. anti-inflammatory supplements, protein, obviously as well. Um, supplements that are going to help with t- like, I just like turmeric for anti-inflammatory, ginger, um, vitamin D3, like things that, where, 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 enough, like where, where are you going to get that from in foods? You could, but how totally. much of our mission would that yeah, be to try and sure. get all these foods yeah. in? So, so they're important. I feel, I feel like they are, man. I've only recently started, you know, taking some um, vitamins and supplements and stuff like that because I didn't really feel like I needed them. Is it injectable ones? Yeah. <laughs> Test- testosterone, that's a vitamin, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so you say that it's kind of quite like low down or whatever high up um in the hierarchy of things that you do need so if you were to lay that out for us like what is the hierarchy of things that you need starting with the, the main thing the main thing uh, really the it, it depends on the person i suppose I, I mean? so i'd if, say if we're to, so if we're looking at things like sleep adequate training nutrition good food this is these are probably slightly interchangeable and stuff like, yeah like, you know I mean? there's these things that you should be focusing on before you start thinking supplements and stuff. I agree. But also, if we take somebody that's maybe coming into my program or something that's had years and years of bad habits and whatever, then their actual kind of maybe relationship with food or food choices and that aren't there, then why wouldn't you supplement? Why wouldn't you use a green shake to help them kind of get that into yep. it? Because taking them from all these bad habits, and stuff, it's not it's not going to flip a switch and it'll be fixed. Yeah. You know, you fix that as you go along. So... I think it's on, it's maybe lower down on the things you should be concentrating on in the beginning. Yes. But that doesn't mean it's not important. Aye, no, I, yeah. I definitely that, agree. I think, I think I think yeah. you're right in saying as well, like things like your sleep, your nutrition, your training, you movement. Know, movement, you can all argue like what's at the base of that pyramid. A lot of people are going to say training, a lot of people are going to say nutrition, a lot of people are going to say sleep. I'd be more of the kind of nutrition camp first and then training and sleep would yeah. be interchangeable. But for sure, the last piece of the puzzle is going to be supplements because there is a lot more, like we said in the previous episode, if you've not watched that, go back and watch it, um, is the... So good at this. <laughs> is the... I forgot what I was going to say. It's, it's supplements. Yeah. Is, yeah. Regardless, forget about that. I forgot what I was going to say about the whole thing about the last episode. That looks silly now. But <laughs> <laughs> but the I, the point I was trying to make is the supplements are the last thing that you need to look at, and having the good foundations first, yes. making them habit, like making your training a habit, making your sleep a habit, making good nutrition choices a habit, and then the last piece of that puzzle as as, as supplements and stuff like mm-hmm, that. Totally. And the, the the types of supplements you can take take again there's a whole could be a whole nother episode mm-hmm. but um if you were going to maybe pick three supplements don't count protein because i would say that's more of like a food choice and a supplement now and um, if you were to choose three supplements for for people to start taking what would they be vitamin d3 zma even though that's like ammonism but a zma, a ZMA yeah. supplement right we'll, we'll call it one and um <laughs> probably turmeric man I've got so my Tom my, my three would be a multivitamin because then you, you kind of cover all bases. Mm. Chow down some multivitamins. I would say then chow down some omega three mm-hmm. or um, vitamin D three. Mm-hmm. I would you know change whatever between those because especially people living in Scotland we don't get enough <laughs> vitamin D. Um, and then the last one I'm going to throw out creatine for especially for the guys yeah. that I. There is so many. Like, I don't even think three but covers it. Exactly, three doesn't I cover take it. take a shit ton. Yeah, you can go on ashwagandha, all day. creatine, what? probiotic. You want to take ashwagandha? Is that? Oh, is that bro. like? Is that like vibranium from Wakanda? What is that? It is. It's from a. It's an aquant. It's an. What did you? <laughs> 
Aquandon. Aquandon. I'm next Ashwick and you can't. You got. Oh my god. <laughs> Wakanda. 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 So it's Black from Panther. it's from Wakanda. <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'm leaving taking a piss. Right, I'm leaving taking a piss. Let's... I genuinely can't speak. I right, ask Wakanda. Right. I don't even know. Where Google it. Is. I Would don't you... know how to spell that for a, to begin with. A S H. Fuck it. I can, I can, I can, I can get that. Next far. question. Next question. When is taps off season? If, do you know there's actually for people? There's... Does, does it not depend on the country? Ah, right, we'll see here. We'll see here when taps no, off season. A... <laughs> <laughs> so we. For for anyone that doesn't know, there's actually an app or a, a website that you can Fuck you off. can Google it tapsaf.com. No, tapsaf.com. Tapsaf right, and uh, when it, so, so, right see Amanda's. It might be doc.uk. So my my girlfriend's from from England and she didn't she didn't know that. So obviously, I would say, I would say it depends. <laughs> it is, is it, it's taps on right now. <laughs> Wait a minute, Let's Glasgow. See. The weather is taps on. <laughs> Fuck off. That's great. <laughs> so there you that go. Great. So I would say it depends if you're a. Um, Holy shit. Where are you? You can check anywhere in the UK. Mate, your world's been rocked. That's mad. However, I don't like this telling me whether I can take my top on or top off. Do you know what I mean? I can, I can do what I want. I think it depends what scheme you go to in Glasgow. Because <laughs> 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 uh, some we schemes you walk about there in March and there'll be people <laughs> fucking taps up. <laughs> like, <laughs> 12 o'clock guy, straight out the, the off license, bottle of bucky on a Tuesday. <laughs> Mad living the life, L L living the life, or no living the life. Dream. I don't know. That right. is living the dream. That's living the dream. Aye, that is living the dream. The dream. Uh, right, each so to, each to their own, man. When it starts off season, there's a whatever you want it to be. Whenever there is an app. I, 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 my answers depends what scheme you go in. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, next one is how to deal with self doubt slash self sabotage. We could go a little bit into like what that may look like. Mm. I suppose that's a little bit different for everyone, um, even all three of us in here. But what would you? How would you deal with that? I think it's, it's multifaceted. Yeah, good word. Good word. Good word to alert. Pop up on the screen. <laughs> and um, it's very, very, it's like an onion. Right? Mm. It's, it's layered. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Shrek. Um, <sighs> what do you say? Shrek. 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 If I'm in Shawlands, Jordan says, get my swamp. <laughs> <laughs> I say yeah. this to everyone so you never yeah, know like, something. <laughs> like, uh, I saw, someone was in, who doesn't normally train at um, the CrossFit gym, base, base fitness. Shout sure. out to those guys. Um, someone, one of the PTs I follow on Instagram was there and I messaged him. I'm like, get out my swamp. He's doing all the time. I do it all the time. I'm sorry, time. go on. Go on. And he had a cheek as well. You were in East Bride and you tell me you got my swamp. Yeah, that's true. Bastard. That is true. My swamp. So where are you? You're East Bride. Yeah, I was actually Jordan. originally born in Amsterdam. Did we cover oh, this you, in the you, first episode? You, no. The, the one that's not we, been published. We knew this, but... Oh, I, knew, I knew this, actually. Amsterdam. Yeah, I, used yeah. To, I was born in Amsterdam. But, I mean, East Bride was like... Aye, right, that's where I grew up. Like, for oh, ever. Well, I was south side. The, so Daniel not, from the south side of Glasgow. It's your swamp. Wait a bit. Hold on, because the south side, people say, like, you, I remember once... You were staying in Rutherglen for a point, weren't you? It's the, it's the up-and-coming south you side. You said Rutherland's to me, oh, we're, we're south side pals, and then in my head, I'm like that. Bro, that's not the fucking, nah, that's man. not the South Side. It isn't even it's Glasgow. It isn't even Glasgow. <laughs> I, you're right, it's South Lanarkshire, isn't it? Aye. Mm -hmm. uh, where, where, so whereabouts in... So, Crawford, pretty much oh, all my life. That's not South Side, is well, it? Well, I was, I was, my first place I stayed and I was about four months was... Uh, Crawford's basically Castle. Was Battlefield. Like. Was Battlefield. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, um, it was Crawford. Crawford's was basically... Kings Park. Crawford is like Castle, basically. Oh, no. No. Aye. It's not it's not like self sabotage. It's so side class. Let's get back on self sabotage. <laughs> anyway. Start talking about Shrek and anyway. all that. Uh, where were you at? I didn't even get started. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on, right? I so Jordan. So first, first thing that I would um try to do with them is I try to identify their triggers. Okay. Right. So generally some, something will happen and it'll lead them ah. into their cycle of Sabotaging, binge eating, or, or whatever it is. Yeah. So first, identifying. I identify right. What is causing you to have this action? Right. Okay. What is it? And then strategizing around that. Like I get a lot of people to do a this or that list. So if I feel like this, I will do that. Oh, right. expand if, on that. So that could be that could be applied to anything. So if I'm feeling anxious, I will use my Headspace app, or I will go a walk, or I will do breathing exercises, or if I feel like having chocolate digestives, I will do this. And that's that could, fucking that, gold. That, that could like be that. that could be the trigger food. That could be something like that. Do you know what I mean? So having that um, in place keeps them in control, mm -hmm. and it means that you have a strategy for it. So they have an out. So when they have that feeling of 
whatever it is they have an option they have an option yeah right people when people are backed into a corner that's when something bad happens yeah because right? some people people feel like they've not got a choice whereas uh -huh. if you give them the power to have that choice yep. then ultimately it's you have to ask them like well, do you really want this thing whatever the thing mm -hmm. may be uh that's really really good it'll be getting stolen <laughs> and i will be sharing that with my guys You're well i suppose welcome. everybody's going to listen to it at some point but um that's that's absolutely class that what about you how would you deal you can't really get a better answer than evans unfortunately. Should we move on to the next so the next question is uh, bah, 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 bah. what were the light bulb moments that made everything change for you for go you, but, danny. Go you danny so is this is this business or fitness um, well or? obviously within the we q a box there's not that much stuff so we could take it anyway and um, whether it be fitness or business and um, we can maybe chat about it from a business standpoint I do a wee um, bit of both, maybe a wee bit of both so what was the light bulb moment for you that made everything change was it was it recording a, an owl video <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> I will, under the bus i will share this one day man i will share really? that video explain one day. What it is. the old video no no just explain briefly right okay the, the so background the background right okay so i uh <laughs> had a bit of a bit of an experience that um took me away from the fitness industry for a bit bit of a kind of down spell bit of a bit depressed for a bit right mm. bit, bit anxious all the rest of it and uh, anyway i was like right, i'm gonna be an actor that's what I'm going to be. That's, so, that's the logical next step, I think. That is the next step, <laughs> right? When, when the, like, do you know what I mean? That, Just I, I, coaching actor, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, and it was basically because stuff had happened. I'd attached the bad stuff to coaching and ran away from coaching just because that can happen. Something really bad happens and it was whatever was going on in your life at that time, you can attach both together. And then before you know it, you end up where I was, which was just where I was. Anyway, I was auditioning. I was. I became an actor for a little bit. I was doing short films. I was auditioning for stuff. He was in a Bollywood film. Uh, Wait, I was you, in a Bollywood. You did have a mustache last Thursday when I met you. Was any of those short films? Did it involve a black couch? <laughs> uh, three, <laughs> three out of the five did actually. <laughs> now that you think about it, and uh, I so basically auditioned uh, to be the voice of a Scottish owl, uh, <laughs> but I was not authentically myself at that point in time. So. I was i felt like i had to get away from the, the current accent that i have and how i speak and change all that so i done the audition i was like hello i'm daniel and i'm 29 from the south side of glasgow <laughs> like, that wasn't a piss take that was me trying to be better i was like i'll be better if i sound it like that i wasn't being authentic i was not uh, being authentic my, talk about self-sabotage self, right? and whatnot that's that's one way to do it do you know what i mean so hi man that was just a mad time anyway <laughs> i didn't get the owl gig um no gutted about that that ruined my life yeah. no, it didn't. but where were we going again what the, was the, the light bulb moment the light bulb moment the light bulb. yeah so how did you get out from that rut that hellhole that was the scottish owl what's brought you to where you're at today well evan essentially was like the the catalyst for Damn. change right Shout when i when evan. i really think Shout out evan. because i was at a low point right and evan phoned me he's like you all right mate i don't know but are you all right and i was like no <laughs> like, this is fucking amazing and um, i think that anybody listening here yes, any guys girls anybody out there you feel like your pals maybe changed a little bit don't text pick up the phone and ask them Aye. multiple times you all right because no, i was a different right? person no. and, and evan boom. clicked he's Aye. like he's no normal like he's no doing normal behaviors yeah he must have just realized like, who is this guy like, he's no mm -hmm. danny he's no being authentic so you were pals for a number of years yes prior to so this he knew who i was right. knew mm -hmm. who i became and he's like this this is no danny phone me and that was he just kind of he was like what he basically made me realize that i'm so passionate about fitness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, he was like and every day i help people with it every day i do it every day i read about it read articles even though i'm sitting on my couch just try like unemployed try to do whatever and I'm, he's like what are you doing yeah. what are you doing like so you're like back in, and that, he just made the like was, was, was a phone call i and my passion was just reignited and yeah. i realized that he, he was the one that said that all the shit that happened to you you just attached that to pt when in reality you're a good coach you you love it you were enthusiastic about it you're passionate about it it was your passion you wanted to make it your life's purpose or the rest it but this big bad shit happened and you just attached both together and i was like you're so right and then as soon as he said that 
switched, light bulb switched, and it was like, I have no doubt in my mind that I'm meant to be a coach. You know what I mean? I have no doubt in my mind I'm meant to help that's people. No doubt in my mind I'm meant to be a uh, PT. And that was that, man. Class, Just get man. back into it. That's class. So that was a light bulb moment with that. Papa Ev, shout out. <laughs> Aye. Shout so that was the kind of business, Ev, the business Aye, one. The business one, that's amazing. Back in the day, light bulb moment of getting into maybe coaching that, I don't really know. What brought you here? I don't. It was mm. that long ago, I can't really remember. Actually, like, I'm really, really, really old as well, so um, that's why it was. Like, Did they even have was, gyms was, back then? It was back when no, you were in, no gyms back in then. the army. It was <laughs> Battle of Waterloo. No <laughs> back, Battle of Waterloo, aye. Right. The Falklands War. The Falklands War. <laughs> the Falklands War. Uh, no, that's incredible. I think that's that's uh, really, really powerful. And I think if MD's to take away anything, any of the shite that we talk is probably that, that like if your pals are just feeling, you feel that something's not right, pick up the phone, Pick man. up the phone, uh, man. 100%. Um, I think for me, it wasn't as as, as powerful as, as maybe you'd experienced, Danny, but for me, in terms of like a business standpoint, the kind of light bulb moment for me was, you know, working a bunch of jobs that I just didn't, I didn't like, and not that I didn't like, that I hated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some people, I think, I'm sure some of my pals probably thought this when, because I used to work for my cousin, you know, had a good job and, you know, he was destined for, for great things and, you know, I could have been along for the ride. <laughs> And I just knew when I was working for him, I was like, I don't really want to do this. But I didn't know what, what I wanted to do. So I left that job. People were like, you're a fucking idiot for leaving that job. And I was like, maybe you're right, but I still don't know what I want to do. Did something else. And then when I did that something else, I was like, this is, this is fucking it, man. And I think I had to do something that I truly hated to find out what I actually really wanted to do. Like I had to... I think the reason why I'm so passionate and why I love so much about what I do is because I went through those other things in the past and I went through things that I didn't like and there's going to be so many people out there that don't like their current situations but mm -hmm. feel stuck and feel like they can't go and do the thing that they want to do that they mm -hmm. really want to do whether that be you know be a professional photographer or you know sell cakes online like whatever this thing may be like your actual passion people are scared to leave the comfort of their own jobs or you know have that security like but at the end of the day covid showed that like n there's not very much that's secure like people can lose their jobs at a drop of a hat mm -hmm. and it just like the risk and the risk i said this to my wee brother actually when we were out for dinner and he was like that's like something you'd see on instagram reels my wee brother's hilarious in that way um he's also a wee fanny shout out it's the wee fanny the i didn't know you had a brother did you not no Oh, yeah. I'm a lot wow. more in, I, I'm a lot more intelligent than him. Um, <laughs> I'm, get, better looking. Looks, <laughs> I'm better looking and funnier. But um what was it what was it I said again? I, the risk in itself is not doing the thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's more of a risk staying in that job. It's more totally. of a risk not taking the leap. It's more of a risk just sitting in your ass hoping that things will change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Isn't this that's not happening, man? Like if if you're just sitting there hoping, it's just mm -hmm. nothing's nothing's gonna go your way. You have to go out and 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 do it and I made every wrong decision at every turn. So, you know, during lockdown when you're getting when I was getting furlough, I left the job and went for uh, self-employed well I, why You're, you've got the safety of a wage and it's like well, I, I don't like it i'm not happy here I, I, i'm not doing what i'm what, what i want to do um so I, so i moved and yeah. then i went from you know having the comfort of x amount of do, i was at the time i was doing a whole bunch of crossfit classes that's guaranteed income i went from no guys i want to only do you know a handful of classes mm -hmm. or a small amount a week I'll, i still coach crossfit because i love it um but it went from, you know, the risk of guaranteed income to then like, right, you need to find clients. And that was the wrong thing to do. But I knew it was right for me. And for me, that going through those kind of low points was the, the light bulb moment that I was like, nah, I'm, I'm going to do the things I want to do. That's great. And that's, that's it. Man. And can I see what you're saying about like people have a have something they're passionate about. Mm -hmm. They're in a job. They can't lose the job because they need the money, right? That's is when I believe like a lot of, a lot of time people get to a weekend, right? And they will self sabotage back to that point again. Well, they'll just get because they are living a life because they're living a life they want to live, right? What I would employ anybody today if you're in that situation is use the weekends to live your dream life. So take the weekends or take the two days, take the days off. It might not be Saturday, Sunday, it might be a Monday, Tuesday off, whatever. Take the weekend, right? To work on your passion, make it a reality, right? So instead of just running away from your current reality, start to change it and craft. Uh, that's a bit heavy, right? But I feel like you could, everybody could take it's a weekend heavy, man, and utilise it, man. Do you know it, what I mean? Instead of just running away from it and getting pissed and uh, eating shit and just self-sabotaging, basically. Like do you know what I mean? Guys, like guys our age, like it's, it's, it's not that it's taboo, but like the amount of, you know, people that we know 
however it may be that they take drugs every single weekend they'll go out and get smashed every single weekend be, and be melt. yeah exactly like it's people go through these spells and then they'll go through it for the full weekend and then it's like oh, fucking hell back to work on monday and it's like no yep. wonder they're getting absolutely smashed it's, at the weekend yep, because they fucking hate the, what they do they that's they are, man. a lot of the time it's just to numb themselves from, that's it this is, this is from, it. from what they're doing is, man. through the week deep stuff man it, it is, is but, it's <laughs> fucking, but it's real shit man it's been uh, people and i've been there no i, I don't want to say man. i was nominating i was just it's what hectic, people do too it's, it's, it's your your you're surrounded by that like if, if that's your social circles and that's what they're doing every single weekend you're going to become a part of that 100%, and if you man. don't become a part of that you're weird because you're on totally. the outside of it people don't like to be weird yeah no. people don't want to be being on the people are worried about what being people think is, this is a thing man being different is great Aye. Like, Aye, 100%. Like, even i get it now like, a lot of my pals and all that i still want to go out all the time and see because like i'm I don't mm -hmm. like I'm I'm now past that I'm it doesn't mean I'm better than them doesn't yeah. mean I'm whatever no, it, that's the thing it just means that my it's not high up on my list of values and things that I get this is fulfillment it. from and, and happiness from I would rather go climb a Monroe with a man than I was gonna say the dog the dog can't do it because she's limpy but like oh, don't, make a, don't make me <laughs> fucking cry <laughs> <laughs> a broken dog and, um, but I, there's just I, I the, our value lists are just slightly different and that's okay here's the, here's the other thing as well though that, that always happens is where how many guys girls did you hear you see in socials your mates be like that oh um a fresh sundays or a fresh this sunday and how I good they feel that. about themselves i've got just so much to say about this not man. being hung over like people just they feel so good about themselves and then but it's so short-lived because they'll just roll right back yeah. into it and whether that be because they're living a life they don't want to or whether that be just because they want to fit in with all their pals it's it's i find it funny to see like oh being fresh on a sunday and it's like such a big thing yes, it's man. like well mm -hmm. why don't you just do that most of the time and don't get me wrong i love a drink just as much as the next guy mm -hmm. right i love a beer love a whiskey but i'm now past the point where i can just have a couple and then i'm i'm good man like but that's I'm for good. a lot of people Same. do you not think that's their personality do you know what i mean so their personality no no so their personality is somebody that goes out that you get some people whose personality is they go to the gym it's like their there's, identity their identity yeah. so that there's not i was gonna say there's not much more substance to them but there obviously is but do you know what i'm trying it's to say substance substances yeah no yeah people people do definitely craft that like oh he's the guy that goes to the gym he's yeah. the guy that goes which i don't think it's a bad identity right i, I don't see like no, i know that I, I speak to a lot of people who want to be that person within their friend group and within their family want to be the, the fit person mm -hmm. they want to be the person yeah for like sure that. and I, I i know for a fact i was that for the longest time because the gym wasn't always cool, man. The gym no. wasn't always what people wanted to do. Eating good wasn't always what people, what people wanted to do. Some weekends I'd boot with the boys and I wouldn't want to drink because I just, I knew I had a good session coming up the next day and I just couldn't be arsed drinking. I wanted to be fresh for it. Yeah. And it was like getting ripped apart, like absolutely mm -hmm. ripped apart. Oh, get you pure, eat your chicken and rice and then. Bench oh, press, idiot. Do you know what I mean? And it's <laughs> not like, bench pressing enough. Yeah. I, but it's like, fucking hell, man. It's just the men. What's so bad about wanting to be better do you know what i mean yeah and like you said that's a big thing even though it's, it's not that you're better than people who do do better that yourself, like it's, it's not that's not it at all and people get confused or it gets twisted when when it's like oh you're i'm better than you because i go to the gym and i look after myself and it's not that at all and it's, it's what you said is that it's just not in your list of values or it's not in your list of priorities you don't people that doesn't mean i won't do it yeah people like, yeah exactly people gain fulfillment from going out and getting smashed every single weekend and doing it you know from thursday to sunday mm -hmm. and they're rolling it i don't know how people can do that but rolling into work the next day people gain fulfillment from that and enjoyment from that whereas guys like me and you and, and you don't or don't anymore um and i think as well i feel like sometimes the the biggest transformations that come from people have been to people who have been through the worst of it been through like been through those tough tough times whether it be working jobs they don't like or yeah. whether it be self-sabotage through drugs and alcohol like it comes big transformations can come off the back of that and you mm -hmm. often see like a kind of big flip where people go completely sober right yeah. because it's like they just can't live that that life anymore and i'm not really qualified too much to speak on it obviously no. it's all anecdotal and it's all things that i've maybe learned through my experiences or people i know but it's 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 very very true and i think it's it's maybe not spoken about enough mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know that's it for the questions any closing thoughts topics lighten the mood before we go because that was a bit i depressing. love podcasts yeah podcasts are good fun um yeah, good crack. yeah we'll be back next week in the 
Cyberspace World um, for, <laughs> for the next podcast. I have been your main host, this most week. attractive host this week, Jordan. I have been your main, main host, Danny. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Ciao. Cheers.